Hello friends, welcome back to Snipper Coder and we are back with our video. In today's video, we will talk about the problem we face many times when we do make our project. Sometimes we face issue like we have to make a different environment for development, for the production and for the QA environment. Then we have to change the setting according to the environment every time we have to make the build. To overcome this problem, we have the solution in this video. So watch the video till end so you will understand how we can resolve this issue. So before starting the video, if you are new to our channel, subscribe the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. Thank you. So in this video, we are going to use this package that is flutter underscore flavor and this package will help us to achieve what we want to achieve. Like we have to make a multiple environment in our application for our development, for the production, for the QA. For that purpose, we require this package because it is having the inbuilt capability for doing that. So flutter flavor allow us to quickly configure and define the dynamic variables for our each of the environment, which is required like if we want to have a different api url for our development for our qa environment for our production environment we can configure over there and other things also we can achieve like we have to give a specific module for our development for our qa for our production that also we can configure in their configuration and all so let's integrate this package and let's understand each and everything over there So this is our flutter application and here in the pub spec we will add the package here. We will go here and here we will add the package flutter underscore flavor and the version we will put here 3.1.1 and we will save it. So now what we have to do we have to go to our main dot dot file and we have to remove some code from here. First of all we will remove this main function from here and for that we will create in our different files. We will remove from here. Here also we will remove this code. All the unnecessary code we will remove here. This code also we will remove here. And here we will create new file here. Home underscore page dot dot file. And we will put here. We will make it as a stateful widget. Home page. And we will link this here. And from here we will delete this code. Here we will import here. So now what we have to do, this is our main dot dot file. Now we have to create two more files because we are going to create two environment. First one, we will name it as a main underscore prod dot dot file. This will be for our production. Here what we will do, we will add a function here void main. And before that, we will import our main dot dot file. Import main dot dot. Here we will write flavor config. Here we have to define our name here. We will name it as a prod. The color we can put here colors dot red color. We will import the main dot dot package here. And here we can define the variables. Suppose we have to give one variable here that is base URL. And we will give the path here https colon colon slash api dot snippet coder dot com from here we will return a run app and from here we have constant my app and this my app will be come from this main dot dot file this one so what we did here we have created one file that is main underscore prod dot dot file and here we can define all the variable which are related to our productions like main variable is like base url we can define here and other variables also you can define like if you have a different environment and you have a different url for the different environment that you can define here after that we will return here run app then we have constant my app same we have to do for the different environment for the development here we have main underscore dev dot dot file here also we have void main this function main function from here we have flavor config and here we have the name we will give the name as a dev here we have the variables 
and here also we have the same variable base url we will copy the name from here and we will paste here here we have to define our api for this one https colon colon dev hyphen api dot snippet coder dot com then from here we have to return the same thing run app constant my app so what it will do in the development environment we are going to use this base url that is dev hyphen i api dot snippet coder dot com in the production environment we are going to use this url so now we have to modify our home page there we have to read this variable and here we can make a variable string api url is equal to flavor config dot instance dot variables and we have to give the name of the variable base url we have to make sure the name is correct else it will throw the error so now we will just show that this label in, in our page so that we will know that this is working fine or not here we have body then we have center visit and then we have child here we have the text widget and we will use this url and here we have to remove this constraints so what it will do when we run our application on the basis of the environment it will show the url to us so the use case here is like if we are making any api calls in our application but now we have to call the api basis on that development environment or our production environment but every time we have to change the url in our code and all but now there's no need of doing that thing we have to just make a common variable here with the help of this flutter config dot instant dot variables and then we can use this variable in our api service call and all according to that build which is running on the basis of that it will use that base url and all so now we will move move further so now what we have to do we have this folder here so now we have to create one new folder here and we will put a dot vs code inside that we have to create one new file that is launch dot json now here we have to create the file and also we can click on add configuration so now we have to add the configurations so first one we will name it as a prod here we have program we have dollar sign and we have to pick it from our workspace folder slash main underscore prod dot dot file then we have the request we have to change it to launch type we have to change it to dot same we have to copy this one and we have to paste here and we will change it to depth and here we have to change it to dev so what it will do when we run our application it will show us that which build we have to run and from there we can select production or the development and on the basis of that it will run that page that is if we are selecting the production then it will use this main underscore plot dot dot file if we are running the dev build then it will use this file that is main underscore dev dot dot file so now let's run our application and let's see is it working or not if we run the application in the production it should show that production url here if it will be run in the development then it will show that development url here if that is working according to a requirement then we are good with the solution and all so now to run this application we have to click here in the run dev here we have the both the option that is prod or dev so now if we want to run the application in the development environment we will select here and from here we have to change it to ios simulator so now we have selected a dev environment here so now if i click on the start debugging it will run the application but here it is giving main underscore dev dot dot not found so let's see what the issue is so here in the launcher we forgot to put here lib folder here because our files are in the lib folder i will copy the same here also so now we will go back and we will run the application again so now you can see here launching lib slash main underscore dev dot dot 
on iPhone 14 Pro in dev mode. So here you can see in the URL which is mentioned here is a dev iPhone API dot snippet coder dot com. That means it is working perfectly fine. So if we run our application at dev environment, then it will pick all that variables related to our dev environment and it will deal with that. So now let's change the environment to our production environment and let's see what will happen. So now here if I click on the prod and here I, if I click on the start debugging, you can see here it is picking the file now as a main underscore prod dot dot. So now you can see here in the production we have used this URL that is API dot snippet coder dot com. That means it is picking the variables according to our environment. So that means our solution for that issue is resolved now because whenever we are doing our coding and all we have a requirement like we have to make a different build for our different environment then we have to change everything in our same file but now here we have to just configure everything at the one go then we can utilize that thing in our application on the basis of the environment we are using so now this is the case for our running the application so now the main thing come when we have to make the build also how we can do that for doing that we have to just go here in our terminal so here what we have to type here for making the apk file and all go here we will put here flutter build apk hyphen hyphen release then we will put here hyphen t then we have to link that main file that is main underscore dev dot dot so now what it will do it will create the apk file for our development environment if i press enter here it will start making the build here so you can see here the apk is generated successfully so in the same way if we have to create the build for our production environment what we have to do here we have to just change this file to our main underscore prod so now if i press enter it will create the apk file which will be linked to our production environment and all so you can see here both the apk has been generated successfully so this is how we can achieve something like dynamic way of creating the multi environment in our application without have to change the code every time we have to make the build this is the one time setup we have to do when we create our application it will be very robust and it will help us a lot when we do our last scale project where we have involved multiple environment like production environment we have QA environment we have sales environment we have our development environment like that way so i hope you like the video don't forget to subscribe channel like comment share i will come back soon with another awesome video thank you for watching the video